الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Muslims are disheartened and disgusted with the bankrupt ideology of extremists like al-Shabaab and the perpetrators of the recent attacks in Kenya on the mall which illustrate for us the lack of Islamic integrity and the extremist ideology which groups like al-Shabaab and al-Qaeda and those other groups who hold these violent extreme ideologies how far they have gone from Islam because the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said iyyakum wa ghulu beware of extremism and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran which means that the individual who takes one innocent life it is if they have killed all of mankind however groups like al-shabab and others take it upon themselves and their strange interpretations of the sharia take it upon themselves to perpetrate violent and wicked acts so much so that they go so far away from the sharia because the scholars of islam explain extremism or ghulu to mean tajawuz al had meaning that it is going beyond the bounds and so those things which are outside of the sharia limits and that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated and that which the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam called to then those foreign ideologies are considered extremism regardless of whether they're secularism or regardless of whether they're violent extremism as we see in the case of groups like al qaeda and the suicide bombers and people who perpetrate these other violent and vicious acts and we rebuke those and refute those ideologies and we are saddened that these kind of actions take place and that these individuals attempt to distort Islam and attempt attempt to distort the authentic sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as it was narrated in a hadith in al bukhari when it is legislated real authentic jihad that islam preserves the lives of women and children and the elderly and even the religious people from other communities that they should not be harmed this is in accordance with islamic law this is in accordance with the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a hadith however those groups who take it upon themselves to reinterpret the text and distort what islam is based upon they take it upon themselves to propagate their ideologies which are in fact bankrupt they say they support the sharia and support islam but they do it by un-islamic means means that are illegitimate and this is also shows us the relationship between groups like al-shabab and al-qaeda and other extremist organizations and groups of individuals 
that they have more in common with the first sect that deviated from the Orthodox Islamic Creed, which were known as the Khawarij. And they were known as the Prophet Sallallahu described them for their ignorance, that these people were ignorant, that these people were extreme, extreme even in their worship, meaning going beyond the bounds, excessive, that they were known for distorting the principles of Islam and declaring other Muslims to be apostates. And the Prophet ﷺ also described them as being those 